The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Apple Compressor 4.2. In this excerpt, I'm going to give you an overview of how to create an iTunes store package in Compressor. iTunes store packages can now be assembled and created in Compressor. This includes both the movie and the trailer, closed captions, subtitles, even alternative audio. However, you still need a delivery partner to submit the package to Apple. These partners include Quiver Digital, Juice Worldwide, Walla, and Zoo Digital. It used to be that you'd have to send all of your elements to, say, Quiver, and Quiver would then assemble them into a package, make sure they were technically correct, send that package off to Apple, and post it on the iTunes store. The first half of that job now can be done by you using Compressor. We can assemble all the elements into a package, but it still needs to meet technical specs, and it still needs to be submitted to Apple, and you can't do that. Only one of these four delivery partners can. So once the package is done, you send it off to Quiver. Well, in point of fact, it works even better if you establish who your delivery partner is going to be and get an ID from them first and build that ID into the actual store package. It can be corrected later, but it's easier to build it in now. So you decide, we're going to work with Quiver, we're going to work with Zoo Digital, get the ID from them and build that into the package. You'll see how to do that in just a moment. The package supports the following format. Subtitles must be in the ITT format, and closed captions must be in the SCC format. I'm going to be able to illustrate how we work with closed captions, but all of my closed captions are in the SRT format, and I haven't had a chance yet to convert them. Creating iTunes Store packages is not something that I've needed to do, so I'm not an expert at it yet. I'm going to give you an introduction to it today, but for more information, read Apple's white paper. You can find it at images.apple.com slash Final Cut Pro slash docs slash iTunes store package dot PDF. When you go to that website, it'll download a 17 page PDF which walks you through the entire process of creating a store package. So if you're an independent filmmaker that's looking to sell their movies on iTunes, the first step after completing the movie is to create a store package, and Compressor can now do that. In fact, let me show you. This is the new version of Compressor, version 4.2. And if you look at this very carefully, you're going to say, uh, Larry, this looks almost exactly the same as the 4.1 version of Compressor, and you are absolutely correct. There's only a few minor interface differences between the two of them. But the big thing that's different is not even in the interface, it's in the menu. And I want to start there by going up to the File menu, and notice down here in the File menu we have the ability to choose an iTunes store package. When we do, it gives us the ability to learn more, which I recommend absolutely read Apple's white paper before you try to create this for yourself. We'll just check it so we don't see that again, and click OK. It now adds the store package here as part of the batch process. And inside the store package, we have the ability to add a feature, add subtitles, closed caption, alternative audio, even a preview, a trailer for our film. To add a, a movie, which is your feature, you click the plus key and you get a standard file picker dialog. I won't bother to show that process to you. The process is the same as adding other features by clicking plus and navigating to the file. And I don't have a feature to put in at this point. But what I do want to illustrate is down here. See where we have a subtitle file. When you click the plus, it's looking for a subtitle file with a .itt file extension. And with closed captions, it's looking for a closed caption file with a .scc extension. Notice my subtitles are SRT which means that I can't actually pull these subtitles in. But when you do, you're able to specify the language, the country. You're able to specify whether the closed captions are timed or if you need to adjust the time code of the closed captions so it fits against your movie. All these adjustments are possible using the iTunes store package assembly. Notice that I've selected the, the store package up here because I want to be able to change these settings. The batch name is the name that Compressor uses to track the file through the whole compression and assembly process. You could call this My Movie or My Movie Version 1. The actual name is not important. 
This, however, is important. The short name and the vendor ID are the name that you get from your iTunes delivery partner. They'll give you the name to put in and they'll give you an ID which ties your movie in with that delivery partner so that Apple can track it properly. This is actually something that's really important. If you haven't picked a delivery partner yet, leave it blank. It can always be added later by the delivery partner themselves. But don't put in something that's just made up because that's going to cause the, the package to be rejected by iTunes and you're not going to be able to sell it. You must use the ID and name of a, of a recognized iTunes delivery partner from Apple. Now there's more here. Notice here the CC button. This allows you, once you've applied closed captions or subtitles, to preview them. This refers to the store package, does not refer to movies which are opened up inside compressor. And then when you're done, you click Start Batch and it automatically sends it off to be compressed and assembled. If the movie is already compressed, it will then just simply assemble the package um, because that's what the iTunes store package does. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Apple Compressor 4.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 156. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.